Hi, this video is to give you a really quick overview of the app for Jimbo and the Jim's business. Uh, here is the login screen, so you'll be given your user credentials, your username and password, and once you've entered those, hit sign in, and that will bring into your main menu. You'll see a black bar across the bottom there, that's just updating and syncing the device. If you want to get rid of it, you just touch on it and that'll hide it. Okay, so this is the main menu. You can see there's forms, jobs and resources, contacts, accounts, diary and leads. So what this video is going to just take you through a very quick process, a, a typical day if you like, and see how you will handle uh, a lead from, from start to finish. So the leads automatically populate straight in from the gym system. All right, so you'll get a notification when you've got a new lead. Uh, the lead will appear here. And when you look at the main bar, you can see that under leads is six. So you've got six leads there to be dealt with. So I'll touch on that. Here's your leads. And all the way through the app, when you're looking at things, if you swipe from left to right, it brings in the contact and communications options. So here I can call, SMS or email that lead straight away. If I swipe from right to left, it brings up the actions. So with this lead, I can create a new quote a new job or a new invoice. And it's very flexible in terms of how you want to run your business. You can either go through the formal process of creating a quote first, converting that quote into a job, and then converting that job into an invoice, or you can go straight from lead to invoice. It's up to you. All right, I'm going to have a look at the details there. I'm actually gonna go into the lead now and have a look. And here I can communicate further. So under the name, there's mobile, phone, and email. Again, I can swipe from the left to action any of those contacts if I want to call the customer or email them. I can add additional notes into the details sections by just typing them in. Or, as you can see from the bottom, my actions are sitting underneath there as well. So I've got the option of just saving the details that I've changed creating a new job, quote, or invoice straight from the lead. So let's hit on quote and convert that lead to a quote. All right, as you can see, it's brought in all of the details uh, for the quote. I can go through and edit and touch anything to increase it. Here you can see the different line items at the bottom. So to add new line items, you just hit add item and then touch on the first box and all of your different uh, line items will become available. So you've got tip fees, weed spraying, whatever it might be. So I'll just touch on the one that I want. That will bring in your default pricing. You can touch on the pricing and change that on a per client basis and that will update automatically. I can see the details underneath and then I can save that quote. Okay, so once I've saved the quote, it again shows me all the details. And at the bottom now, I've got three options. I can either PDF, email or edit the client. So let's have a quick look at the PDF and make sure it's right. That will bring in the logos, the pricing details, everything else. Okay, that looks good to go. So I'll hit done. And now I can email that quote straight to the client. And it brings in default wording there, but you can edit that and customize it to have whatever you want. I can tick the checkbox at the bottom so it'll send me a copy at the same time. Hit send and the client gets that invoice immediately. Okay, so that's converting a lead to a quote. I can either do it by going into the quote and setting the status, or I can swipe from the right and create a new quote straight from there. Okay, we'll quickly look around the rest of the app. Um, if I go into accounts, I can see quotes, invoices, and expenses. I can go into the quotes and see all of the different quotes there. Again, same thing, swipe from the left to right to communicate, and from the right to left to action those quotes. I can go into invoices, same functionality, exactly the same. Across the top, you can see the different filters. I've got all invoices, unpaid invoices, overdue, and paid. So if you want to quickly chase up any overdue invoices, you just go to your invoices section, hit overdue, it'll list them. You can swipe from the left to communicate, send a copy of the email uh, in invoice, uh, or again, swipe from the right to take payment. Okay, so that's the invoices section within the accounts module. The other part I want to show you quickly is the contact section. So this is like a mobile CRM. It lists all of the goal contacts and in the same way, swipe from left to communicate, swipe from right to create a new quote, new invoice or new job straight from there. If I go into the contact, then this really shows me everything I need to see about the customer. First of all, you've got the billing details and the contact details. 
you can look at the different people in the organization. You can see there's a sub menu under the icons across the top. So you've got billing, people, and next to that is locations. So you can have multiple locations for the, the client. An example of that might be an estate agent is the customer, but then they have multiple locations that you work on for that customer. And so you can list those locations separately. Okay, we'll go across the buttons at the top. Next to the contact details is jobs. So this will show me all of the jobs for this particular customer. And you can see the colored buttons on the right show unpaid and paid. So that's the invoice status for those jobs. Next to that is any notes for the customer. And then next to that is leads. So leads for this particular client. All the way through, swipe from the left or right to action and trigger. And then finally, you've got the financials. Now on the financials for this customer, first of all, you've got quotes. Next to that is invoices. And next to that is expenses. And you can see that as I change from quotes to invoices to expenses, the sub menu changes as well. So if I want to go into invoices, I can then look at unpaid, overdue or paid. Okay, so that is the contact section or the CRM mobile version. Other things to be aware of is, is the diary. I can look at my diary. I can select the day and month that I want to see and, and it'll bring up the jobs behind it. Um, and up the top is resources where I can upload uh, documents and have them available in the app to view. So perfect for things like registration documents, insurance certificates, anything like that that you need to have a copy with you at all times to show. All right, and I guess the last one is jobs, which um, again is a listing of all of the jobs that you've set, whether they be one-off jobs or recurring jobs, they'll all be in here. You can look at all jobs in the filter across the top or jobs for today or this week or a queuing option. And again, exactly the same for all jobs. I can swipe left to right to action to uh, communicate and right to left to action. And when I go into the job, it will bring up the job details. All right, now if you're using the job feature, uh, I'll quickly show you how it works. First of all, you see the details of the job there. You've got the option, if you don't want to use the en route and the, and the travel uh, elements, then you can just hit start job and away you go. If you want to use the en route, then that brings up route directions from where you are to the job location and that tracks the travel times as well. If you stop for a coffee break, then you can just hit pause brings up your break and records the break time, hit resume to get back to travel. If you're running late, this is a nice feature. You can hit the late option. You can either call or SMS the client. If I hit SMS, it brings up a message and then you can enter in the expected travel time. I'm now going to arrive at 3.45. Hit send and the client gets an instant update of your arrival time. Once you have arrived at the site, you hit arrived. You're now able to start the job. Uh, and the invoice details are sitting in there, ready to be completed. All right, so across the top, you can PDF, edit, take payment, or email the invoice. And underneath, you've got the ability to pause the job for a break, save it, or submit it when you're finished. Now, in this case, there aren't any job forms. If you're doing something that is more complex and requires uh, information to be collected more than just the invoice, then we can create specific job forms for each type of uh, division, and those form details will be included in the job to be completed. Okay, so that's the job. Um, that's a very quick overview. You need to spend some time on each section to understand them properly, but this video is really just to give you a quick flavor of the whole app and how you can use it on a day-to-day -day business. Thanks very much for your time.